I'm here today because I'm going to show you, you can teach your dog no matter what age, no matter how their pers what personality they have, ADD, stubborn, I'm going to show you that you can and how easy it is. Right. So we adopted uh, my dog, Ziggy, and she is named, uh, my daughter named her, and um, we, we, her name is Ziggy Stardust. All right, I'd like to introduce Ziggy. This is my Ziggy dog, and if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already known Ziggy. I post her probably a couple of times a week. She is a, she can be a great dog, but she can be just as stubborn as a mule. Now, does that mean that she will not ever listen to what I say just because she's stubborn? Well, it all depends on you. Now, what Ziggy doesn't know or didn't know when we adopted her over two years ago, well, actually it's been a year. What she didn't know is that I'm just as stubborn and even more than she is. So, what Ziggy had to learn was that I am the pack. I am the leader of the pack. That's right. I am the leader of the dog pack in my house. Now, Ziggy. Ziggy was an, a dog that was very ADD. Her personality is, is that she's going to do what she wants to do, when she wants to do it, and she's going to put you to the test. So, not only has Ziggy taught me my patience, she's taught me that I, within myself as well, have to deal with certain stubbornness issues that I've mainly been most of my life. And <laughs> now Ziggy was the kind of dog that would not listen to a word you would say when we first got her. She was stubborn and she still has a streak of stubbornness in her. But I love that because it challenges me to deal and have patience and learn the patience within me. So many people that have dogs are learning some something through their dogs, through their temperaments. And I have learned a lot with Ziggy. In my own self and as you see I do not have her on a leash now I bring her out on a leash now not that she needs to be on a leash she doesn't need to be on a leash because she won't leave our yard we have a very big yard she will not leave ah, ah, ah. Ziggy sit lay down now you see the respect I have had to earn this respect and I've had to earn it with a lot of sweat and tears of being very patient and being very repetitive so I'm going to release ah, ah, ah. Lay down. I'm going to release her. I'm going to give her the okay that she can go and take off and go, ah, 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 sit, sit, Ziggy, sit. Now she will challenge me. She will, she will keep challenging me, but she knows that I am the boss. That's right, Ziggy, I'm talking about you. So I'm going to give her the permission that it's okay right now that I give her permission to get up and go find her ball. Let me release her. Ziggy, where's your ball? Go find your ball. Go, go find it. Go find, where's your ball? Go get it. All right, so she's gonna go find her ball. And uh, usually, if it's not where it needs to be, let's go ahead and take a look over here. Uh, it's usually on the front porch. I have it on the front porch. I usually have these like little nifty ball throwers because if it was up to me, it wouldn't get very far. So I don't have the ball here because sometimes she'll just leave it in the yard. So now the whole thing is to, she's waiting there for me. She really is dying to play fetch. But I don't have the ball, so she's gonna have to search for it. Ziggy, where's the ball? Go find it. Go find your ball. Go. I don't know where it's at. Where'd you leave it? So she's going to search. Where is it? Where's the ball? So she's searching now. She's going to look and try to smell in all the places that she could possibly pick up the scent or where she left it last. Where is it? So she's looking. She's searching. And she's listening to what I'm telling her. She knows what I've told her to do, and she's doing it. You can train your dogs to do these things. Where's the ball? Go get the ball. All right, so... What I wanted to talk while we're going to resume the fetching in a second, but what I wanted to say is that you can't have a very well-trained dog. It's going to take some, some information uh, that you need to be aware of and taking control and lots of repetition, repetitive. My husband is always telling me, well, I don't understand. I can tell her to do the same thing and she just doesn't listen to me. Well, it's because I'm really good at being repetitive. All right, so I'm really good at being repetitive, and uh, it works. It will work to train your dog. Now, if you if you are starting brand new and you really have no clue, there's some of the things that I'm using from Caesar's tech, Caesar Milan's technique. So take a look at some of his videos. You'll be inspired. You'll see how smart your dog can be trained. It's really, um, it's really about training the humans what how how to talk to your dog for them to be able to understand your what you're trying to tell them. So. There's a few things that I use. So there's sounds. There are sounds that you make when you want your dog to either stop doing something or if you want your dog to pay attention to what you're saying to catch their attention. If they're in the red zone, like if you're out and you're walking a dog and then all of a sudden your dog and then all of a sudden your dog sees a squirrel and wants to dash out. 
my dog loves that. My dog has, she's part lab and she's part uh, red coon hound. So her, her instincts are to, to hunt. And what I do is I use this technique to break her from that being in the red zone, right? Being locked in to attack and just get her, get her to stop. And, and you have to kind of do it relatively quick or else they go into that red zone and it's like, they won't hear you, they won't see you, they're just locked in attacking and hunting for whatever it is they want to get. So what I do with Ziggy is I've learned the technique of being repetitive. So I'll put that up here. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Hit that repeat button every single time that you don't want your dog to do something. Secondly, know the sounds to make. Now for my dog, there are different sounds. We use the Caesar sound, which is She knows when I do that, boy, she stops in her track inside the house or she's looking at me now. Good girl. So as you can see, I, I'm not sitting here just like putting videos together here, like, okay, making you see her sit down like after, her. I have to repeat. Now with her, sometimes she'll do things like when I say it once, sometimes she'll have to say it like five times. I'll tell her to come and she's stubborn. She's got that stubborn strength, but I, her stubborn streak, but I'm more stubborn than she is. She knows what I'm telling her. She knows that she's got to obey me because I am, I am the leader of the pack. So you've got to learn to take your spot in leader of the pack. So. When I call her, she comes. And if it takes a couple of times, that's okay. She's, she's doing what I'm telling her. She's a little ADD, like she goes off. I can be, you know, set her out and she'll be looking all over the place. But, so when she comes, she knows that I'm, I am the, the leader of the pack. She's gonna do what I say. And when you know that a dog accepts you as the leader of the pack, they will lay down on their back. And she is very submissive. She'll lay on her back. And when she's done something wrong, I will let her know. It's not about hitting your dog. Hitting your dog does nothing. There are different things that you can do to snap your dog aside from doing that there's another one I do it for some reason watch I'll have to show you lay down oh, see there her ADD with a bug Zing. sit all right so um different sounds you usually those work but whatever works for you make a sound that you know your dog is like gets your attention um the other thing is is that um there are different things, and I'm going to show you. Let me, I'm going to show you. Ziggy, come here. Not hitting your dog. Hitting your dog is, is not going to get you anywhere. That is just totally unacceptable. It's not something that uh, I would recommend. But Caesar Technique shows how, let me show you here. Ziggy, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just demonstrate it just with how the movement is, but I'm not going to do it because it'll confuse her. She knows what when she's in the zone, if there's a squirrel, if there's, um, you know, we used to have guineas. We used to have guinea fowls. We had, um, we started out with 14, we ended up with 12. Um, and we raised them. I raised them as little chicks. They were so cute. So what, what you would do, come here, come here, come. What you would do is that if they're in the red zone, let's say she's looking that way and she's all at attention, like ready to, to pounce on some kind of um, prey, right? What you would do is you would do like this little, like that. You, I'm not doing it, but you would kind of poke a little bit here without too much, you know, you're not doing poking hard. You just kind of poke right there just to get her attention away, away from whatever it is that she's like focused on the red zone. And that will snap your dog out of it as well. So um, those are the kind of things, the little basic things that you want to kind of learn so that your dog will know the response to certain either touch or, um, or sound. They are very much into sounds. So, and they are looking for someone that is going to be their leader, the leader of the pack. So, if you're thinking about getting a dog or you have a dog, it's never too late for those of you that have one and have not trained your dog and your dog just doesn't listen to you. You can do it at any phase, whatever age. Uh, treats are also good when you are trying to teach your dog tricks. So, I've taught her how to sit, how to roll over, which is not her favorite. She doesn't really like it, but she will do it when I tell her. Um, to shake, you know, paw. I bought these little obstacle uh, things that, you know, she was afraid to run through and I got her, she runs through like a little um, foldable loop. So she'll run through that. And she's just really a great dog, you know, overall. What I was looking for, me not have thought I was looking for, uh, but we ended up getting a really great dog. And it just goes to show it doesn't matter how hyper they are. You can train your dog, but it's just gonna require a lot, a lot of being patient patient with your dog because they they do come around and um, you have to show that authority that you are the pack leader so anyways I'm going to share a little bit more on that I know it went a little bit longer than I intended to if you are interested in knowing a little bit more uh, steps in how to get started I would love for you to put that comment below um, 
and other little things. I do love sharing a lot about my dog. I think she is uh, has brought a lot of uh, love into our home, um, and she's just all she wants is love. All they want is love. And if you know, if you are looking for a dog, I highly recommend check the shelters. Save a dog's life. Um, SPCA's they usually protect the dogs and they will not get rid of them no matter how old they are if they don't get adopted so first check your shelters your humane societies the local shelters because after a certain amount of time they put that they euthanize them and put them to sleep so if you can save a dog's life that would be you know that would be great so um, I'll leave you off here with just watching a little bit about Ziggy's um, some of the stuff that she likes to do do you want to play fetch speak all right and I have no treats in my hands right now. It's all because she is being obedient and she is responding to what I have trained her. Do you want to play ball? Speak. <coughs> all right, sit, ready, one. She gets so excited, two, ready, and three. It is a little bit hot today, so we won't stay out and play too long. She, it's so important to get your dogs to exercise. It's healthy for them, it's healthy for you. It's just, um, they will love you forever just with playing with them. All right, da -ah -ah. drop, drop, ah, 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 ah. see how she challenges, she still challenges me. All right, here we go, ready, last one. You wanna play fetch? Speak, here we go. I'm gonna try to show you here. I don't know if you can see where I throw the ball because I have to move the camera. There. She's a happy camper. Okay. I'm going to show you how she knows. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. So she knows now it's over. She's going to go take her ball up here on the porch. I'm just showing you here what she does, the routine. A lot of routine, repetitive. Come here. Put your ball. Put it down. Drop. Don't drop it over there. Uh, 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 over here in your corner. Drop. Drop. Good girl. All right. So what Miss Ziggy here? That's right, she knows I'm talking about her. She had to learn that it was either her or me that was gonna be in charge. Because she knew the, the, they always pick out one in the family that knew that this is the, the, lead, the pack, the leader pack, and um, it was me. And they will show sub, sub, submit, submit, being submissive, sub, submissive. Oh, I can't say it, oh my goodness. Submissive.